my name is Grayson and welcome to our 10th week of toddler STEM kit videos for the Hop Hog Public Library. This week we'll be doing our paint in a bag activity. So what you'll need is a gallon size Ziploc bag, one piece of card stock paper, so it's going to be a little heavier, a little thicker than your usual paper. And then you'll need a few paints. I have three different paints here, pink, blue, and a green one. You can use as many or as few paints as you'd like. It would come out beautiful either way. So what you need to do is either, you can put your paint on before you put it in the bag, but I am using my mom's dining room table and I don't want to get any mess on there, so I'll be putting the paper into the bag first. And then I'm going to start squeezing my paints on the bag. So you'll see I'll just squeeze them in a few different lines. It doesn't really matter how you squeeze the paints on there. bunch of paint on there. Now I'm going to really, really carefully seal it tight. I'm going to push down on the zip lock bag so that way it locks in the paint. So this is what we've got to start and then here's where it gets really fun. You can squish the paint around with your hands and it won't get all over you. You can take things like toy cars and roll it over. If you want to, you can take the bag down to your floor and walk on top of it. And pretty much however you want to spread the paint around your paper, you can do it for five seconds or ten minutes. And let's then see. You should usually wait for it to dry, but because I'm doing a short video, I'll take it out now. And you can see the beautiful creation. Oops. That I made. And look at that, and sliding the bag out, it kind of smeared my painting down. But I actually like how that came out. Maybe I'll frame it and I'll put it on my wall. I hope that you all had fun doing this paint in a bag activity. And if for some reason the paint does get outside of the bag, be sure to help clean up. Have a good day everyone, and I'll see you all next week.